In this video, we're going to show you how to remove the exterior door handle assembly and the lock barrel from a Mini R50, R52 or R53. Tools you'll need for the job, a ratchet with a T25 and a T30 Torx, a long T30 screwdriver, a flat trim removal tool and a 5mm Allen key. To remove the door card, there's four T30 bolts One's hidden behind there. So using a trim tool, pop the little reflector out there. And that's one. And then one below it here. If you've got a 2005 onwards model, you'll notice the armrest covers that hole. So you'll have to take the armrest bit off first, which slides forward so you can get access to this bolt. There's two at the front. Now using a flat trim tool, you want to get under this little trim here that goes around the interior handle and the tweeter. And just gently work it around, prying that off. Remove that. Now using the same flat trim tool, you want to work around the edge of the door card, starting in the corner, to pop all the clips out that run down the side uh, and under the, underneath, along the bottom edge. So you get the trim tool in, just pry that apart and you'll notice the clips start to pop on. So when it's just loose and just held in at the top, you want to pull it away from you. Top. Again, work your way along. Once you get to the edge, when it's off, just pop it over the pin. And then there's a wire at the bottom for the uh, for the puddle light. Just pop that out and just push it back through the hole. That's the door card removed. So you can see looking inside the door. You can see the back of the handle and the lock and the cable so we need to remove this cable here it's just hooked in so if you pull it down I'm trying to do it with one hand and it hooks out of that so you pull it up and swing it round and that's loose so it's coming out of this bit here now we need to undo this uh, five mil allen key head bolt there so using your allen key Get in that and just, you can only do a little bit of a turn at a time, but just wind it out. As you can see, that's quite painful undoing it in slight little bits, but that's the bolt at the front removed. Now to get access to the bolt at the back, we're gonna use this hole here. It's under this flap, so you can just push that up out of the way. So going through that access hole, it is a five mil Allen key bolt, but what we're gonna do is use a Torx T30 just it uses the, um, it works just the same and it's actually a little bit easier to get in so we're putting that in there it doesn't go straight on but it is enough to undo it so just keep slowly undoing that and as you're undoing this bolt the handle will be pushing out from the other side which we'll show you now so as we're undoing the bolt from the inside that we just showed you you can see that's pushing the handle out from the back There you go, it's most of the way out, pull that out and the cable should come along with it.
Now, if you want to go one step further and remove the key barrel from the outside, then if you come to the inside here, there's three T25 torques that are holding the door catch mechanism in. You don't need to remove the door catch fully, but you do need to loosen it off uh, to be able to get the barrel out. So now if you reach around inside the door you can feel the door catches loose, it's still all connected to the rods and the cables on the inside and the electrical plug, you don't need to remove those, so it's just hanging there loosely. And then if you pop the little grommet off there, there's a T25 Torx which is holding the outside barrel in place, so undo that. and then go to the inside of the door to remove the barrel. So now you can see inside everything's loose. You can wiggle the lock, just leave it loose and pull it down slightly. And you can get hold of the barrel and pull it through the inside of the door. And that's the barrel removed.